SAG Corporation. Yeah, it's SAG. Man, what are, you, what are you, again? Seriously, you have to come here again? What do you want from us? All right. Nobody special. Yeah, I remember, nobody special. Now, dun, dun, dun. we are two kids talking about music news and whatnot. We have our own website that we yeah. paid for free because we're too poor to do anything else. <laughs> yes, we are. Check out sadcorp.weebly.com. Yep. And, okay, let's get on to our for, for, first order. order. It's time for the daily report of music news on nobody special. This just can't. Papa Roach screwed over just calling in over the wire. While getting ready for their new album, Time for Annihilation, their old recording company, Interscope Gre Jeffen, released an iTunes exclusive album, a greatest hits album by Papa Roach without the consent of Papa Roach. Upon their website, upon looking at it, it shows that they are equally pissed off about it. You should read the article, we'll have the link in the description, so check that out. And now it's time for our next story. In other news, Iowa police just confirmed that the death of Slipknot bassist Paul Gray was caused by an overdose of his medicine, possibly morphine, among other medicines. Details are still sketchy, but police are still looking into the case. Okay, so two stories in under two, one minute. Yep. Hey guys. <laughs> okay. Um, new releases time. Like, there have been a, not a lot of new releases, and I feel like walking around. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Buck Cherry has a new song out called <laughs> Our World, the Gulf Oil Spill version. I yeah, think. it's kind of like a tribute. Well, I maybe guess. a tribute. Uh, yeah. I'll hear a 30 second preview due to iTunes. Damn you, iTunes, you lying bastards who didn't consent of Papa Roach's greatest hits CD. Bastards. Okay. <laughs> and Disturbed has a new song called Another Way to Die. You check that, that check. I put a review yeah. blog. You can look that up on sidecorp.com. Yes, and Avenged Sevenfold, which is pretty old. They have a new song called Nightmare. It's awesome. Mm, yes. Remember, it's your effing nightmare. <laughs> yep. Uh, and Shine Down has a new song called Diamond Eyes. It's for the new movie Expandables, which has Sylvester Stallone and Bruce Willis. In yeah, I want to see that movie. That looks like a, even Jackie Chan's in it. I know. That's uh, some uh, lineup. And um, Ozzy has a new album called Scream Out. Remember, you know you can let let me hear you scream. Leave a video response. You scream. Yeah, let's see your best throat shredding yeah, next, emo scream. And the best scream will be like in our next video. If yep. we figure out how to do that. Yeah, yeah, we're both amateurs. We don't and know what the fuck we're doing. The video for Kicking the Teeth is out by Vivo. Ooh. Yeah. But you know what? Check it out. It's also on Papa Rose's website. So, yeah. This is it for that segment. See ya. It's now time for 10 bands, 10 fast with Scott. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Now it's time for 10 facts about 10 bands. And the first band is Drowning Pool. Yeah. Brian, Brian McCombs used to sing for Soil, which is the singer for Drowning Pool now. Woo! McCombs joined the band in June 2005. Dave Williams was nicknamed Staged by Dimebag Daryl of Pantera. <laughs> 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 they are big football fans, and they call football their religion. Dun dun. Drowning Pool's equipment was stolen twice between November and December of 2008. That sucks! Okay, five more facts. Yeah. They formed in 1996 in Dallas, Texas. <sighs> After the original singer Dave Williams died, J Jason Jones took over for their second yeah. album. Then he left for personal reasons, and then yeah. Brian goes to go. Okay, they're on the set list for OzFest 2000. Ten. 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 Yeah. Uh, the song Bodies was used in Call of Duty and Woo. the 2008 Rambo. Yeah. Their third album, Full Circle, was released April 7, 2010. <laughs> the second band, which is Flyleaf. Uh, 
flyleaf open for Evanescence and Bowling for Soup over their years. Um, they're from Temple, Texas. I actually like Flyleaf. You yeah, Flyleaf is a good band. They're a little soft, but you know. You ever hear uh, I'm So Sick with the girl yeah, singer? Yeah, awesome. I, I like that one. The, she sounds yeah, like... The members of Flyleaf all met at church. Can I just say something, though? Yes. They sound, she sounds like a Canadian. She goes, I'm a bird. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. Okay. Now, um, the people in the band are Lacey Mosley. Yeah, Lacey James was the one that Cole. sung. Yeah. James Culpepper, Samir Bumpit, whatever that means, <laughs> Jared Harmon, and Pat Seals. Pat Seals is awesome. L Lacey likes having a chocolate milkshake after a show. Ooh. Formed in 2000. Yeah. yeah. Um, in 2007, they toured with Three Days Grace and Stone Sour. Woo! One of my favorite bands. <sighs> their, so their song, I'm So Sick, appears in Rock Band. <sighs> On November 2nd, 2009, they released a weather suit for their new album. And Lacey Nicole Mosley was born September 4th, 1981. And now I'm your third band, and I, while I'm getting out of breath, my all-time favorite band, Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction hit number one on the Billboard 200 in 1987. Awesome. Yeah. In 2009, actual Axel Rose punched the photographer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In it all, wait, what? it took over a decade to put for Axel to put a uh, Chinese democracy together. They formed intermission. Okay, um, we had technical difficulties as you saw. Now let's start from Rocket Queen. Rocket Queen is about a girl he knew who had a band called Rocket Queen. I don't know if it ever became famous or anything. Guns oh, wait, too has close. a song written by Charles Manson on their Spaghetti Incident. Hmm. Is what, wait, Spaghetti Incident? That's one of the names of their albums. Oh, I was going to say, Izzy whoa. Stradlin's real name is Jeffrey Isbell. <laughs> <laughs> Number 92 of the greatest bands of all time, according to, like, what we show. Number 92, I mean, well, I read that. Fail. <laughs> Q Magazine named them one of the, you must see them before you die. I guess we'll call them the next Rolling Stones. That's a pretty bold statement. Mm -hmm. Now on our next bag, Pop Evil. Oh. Okay. Don't fail. <laughs> Pop Evil is, <laughs> is based in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Their people who are in it are Lay Kakati. Kakati. Dylan <laughs> Allison, Tony Green, Dave Gracia, and. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Matt Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> Burrito. Sorry. Um, Burrito. They toured Saliva and Tesla. They Woo. toured in 2001. The album Lipstick on the Mirror was released August 12, 2008. In November 2008, Pazzo Music released 150 out of Rock Radio. Can you seriously stop that? As an EP called Ready or Not. 158, 155 got an 8 on a U.S. mainstream chart. Woo! I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh, consider that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought they said conceded. <laughs> okay. They were considered to be post grunge band on Wikipedia. Filmed the first music video in 2006 when their first album didn't come out until 2008. So, kind of weird. Obviously, it's Wikipedia's time fault. Time for Fuel. Fuel got their start by playing in bars in ha Hammersburg, Hamlinsburg, whatever, Pennsylvania. They're, Harrisburg. They're, yeah, Harrisburg. There we go. They interviewed Chris Daughtry to be the lead singer, but got shut down. Originally Damn. Originally, the Small the Joy, Falls on Me is our most known song. Sunburn, the song, was in Scream 3. <laughs> Brett Scallion's J Jason Todd, Brad Stewart, and Ken Shock make up the band. Formed in 1989. He came from Jackson, Tennessee. So, yep, you gotta like that. Yep. First EP was released in 1996, and Sunburn, their first album, came out in 1998. Mm. Uh, there you go. <sighs> On to STP. How much? What number is this? Um, do, 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 you know, I think it's number like five. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, Scott Wyland designed a... You know what, interm intermission. Okay, now we're back after this short intermission. I got tired of talking. <laughs> Scott Wyland designed a 
Scott Weiland designed a line of collision called English something. A Scott and Rob, members of uh, STP, met each other at a Black Flag concert and they found out they were both dating the same girl. Dun dun. <laughs> Scott, STP, without Scott Weiland, released an album with the name Talk Show. <laughs> Talk the, Show. Scott Weiland got into more than one car crash in his lifetime. Oh, that sucks. Many fans are pleased with their new album called something. <laughs> they are. Is that the real name or you just no, said? No, no, I'm just making that up because I have no idea what the band name is. Okay, Fail. They are a grunge founder band, like they found grunge and everything. Ooh. They Grammy. <laughs> they have six albums, has many hit songs like Creep and Days of the Week. And the Sour Girl music video has Sour... Sour Wait, what band is this? STP. Oh, I thought Radiohead. Sour, Wait, I thought... Sour Radio Michelle Geller in it. Okay, now, what were you going to say, Dan? I thought Radiohead did Creep. No. Well, they did. They did a different song called Creep. They both did Creep. Ah! They both did Creep. The truth comes, the okay. truth comes out. Okay, you got the thing on me? Yeah, it's no, on. Are you, are you steady? <laughs> Chevelle has been uh, been influenced by Nirvana and Tool. This is Chevelle. Chevelle? Yeah. Chevelle parted ways with bassist Joe Lafleur in 2005. They formed in 1995. Formed in Illinois. Has five albums. They are not a Christian rock band, but they are under a Christian rock label, which is weird. Big fans of Tool. Um, is touring with Shine Down as we speak. No. Um, <laughs> they have Hailstorm at Alita's Way, which are two great bands opening for them, and produce the album Sci Fi Crimes in Tennessee. Sci Fi Crimes, is that like the channel Sci Fi? <laughs> yeah, Sci Fi Crimes, no. <laughs> and now it's for a not as well known band called Smile Empty Soul, which is a little weird. Maybe. What number? I don't know. Maybe. Number eight? This is number Yeah, five. it was. Yeah, whatever. Smile and Soul attended rival high schools in Santa Clara, California. God Hates Me Music is the publishing company of Smile and Soul. Sean Danielson joined the, his first band at age 11. Oh. From Santa Clara, California, obviously. They formed in 1998. And Santa Clara? Santa Clara. Santa Clara, too. Whatever. As they're a three member band. They headline for Evans Blue, which has a great song called Sick of It. I'm and sick of it. They're with Atlantic Records, uh, tours in Brazil from time to time, and formerly known as Heckler's Vita. Don't ask. Well, I want time for some him, 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 him. Your face is very white when I focus in on it. Okay. <laughs> Hinder formed in Oklahoma City, 2001. Cody Hansen, a singer, uh, attended the University of Central Oklahoma. Take It to the Limit sold 81,000 copies in its first week. Ooh. I was one of those buyers. <laughs> I bought a, I bought one too. Yeah, in the first week. I bought two days after it came out. Okay. Hinder Take It to the Limit debuted at number four on the Billboard. In, yeah, in the Billboard in 2004. Good. Hmm. Billboard 200. Sorry. Part of the Oklahoma City, no, Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame in 2007. How oh. many great music people come from Oklahoma? That, I don't know. And intermission. Okay, back from that intermission. Because I'm tired. Yes, okay. The members of the band are Austin Wrinkler, Joe Garvey, Cody Hansen, Mark King, and Mike Rodman. Ooh. The debut single was Get Stone. <laughs> Wrinkler <laughs> was arrested with a DUI charge in Arkansas. They toured with Red Theory and they're on Nick Red Bass. Theory, very good band, good band alert. <laughs> and the uh, makers of our theme song, hell yeah. True. They didn't make it for us, but you know, we wish they did. <laughs> and they're on Nickelback's Dark Horse Tour. Ooh. Okay, now we're on to Alice and Chains. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yep. Okay. They formed in Seattle. They're pioneers of grunge. They formed in 1987. They have three EPs. Their new album with the new singer is called Black Gives Way Blue. They don't like the bruises and stuff. 
Um, now their lineup now is Jerry Cantrell, William Duvall, Michael Inez, and Sean King. They are they are on Ozzy's No More Tears tour. Hmm. The original singer Lane Stanley died due to an overdose on heroin and crack. Wasn't it? He overdosed on heroin and crack. I guess so. Kagan of Guns N' Roses went with them for a reunion tour. I don't really get the part of the reunion because he was never in the band. But yeah. Know, whatever. It was Wikipedia. Hmm. Well, Damn you, Wikipedia was, with your lies. <laughs> and they're a grunge super group, according to Stanley. And now on to our last band. Thank God. Actually, no, wait, that was our last band. Oh, oh okay. All right, all right. <laughs> so, see you guys. And, you know, have a good day. You know? You know what? 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 I, I don't know. Like, remember, nobody's special. Yeah, alright, so uh, that'll be the end of our show today. Um, you know, check us up on our blog and as well as news and CD reviews on sagcorp.weebly.com. Um, check me or Scott out on Facebook. We'll have a link to that website on each of ours. Uh, check me under Dan Hoy or Scott under Scott Truth. Uh, Junior, this is Scott. Oh, this is Scott. <laughs> this, I didn't know you were <laughs> Momentarily confused. This is Scott, and I'm Dan. Thank God. As we're signing off, see ya. See ya.